Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Civilization VI, playing as Russia. And uh, this is a, actually a new day of recording for me, even though we've only got a couple of episodes left. Uh, I worried about it as late as I could uh, last night, and I had to put a little bit of a, a break in the action. So in the meantime, I did do a little bit of research, because I'm like, I've got to be missing something with this tourism victory thing. Obviously, I've never won one before. I've mentioned that before. And to be fair, I don't think it's completely clear how tourism and all that stuff works. I keep looking at this number. I'm like, okay, that has to have something to do with it, which it sort of does. It, it does have something to do with it. Um, but I did a little bit more research just to see what in the world I was missing and, and why did my tourism go down and, and things like that. And the fact of the matter is the way the tourism works, if you don't know it, uh, so here's a little bit of lesson in cultural victory. Uh, quick side note, by the way, the uh, I was watching some videos for uh, Gathering Storm today, and Gathering Storm actually tells you a timer for what turn they expect certain people to win a culture victory on if all things stay the same. So, like, it might say Genghis Khan will win at you know in 100 turns, and then I will win in like 50 turns or something like that. So, it gives you a timer to kind of help you understand what things are changing and how quickly you win. So, that's really cool. Obviously, we don't have that now, so we got to do a little bit more kind of, of our own investigation, if you will. So I'd been kind of looking at this, trying to figure stuff out, you know, looking at different things. I didn't realize you could hover over these. I'll be honest, never actually tried. And they tell you some more information. They tell you what your current tourism is, what your lifetime tourism tourism is, and, and different things that are affecting that. So, for example, we're getting a 24% reduction to tourism to Genghis Khan because of having different governments. Um, so that's taking this 2,762 down to just over 2,000. Okay. Well, that's some interesting information. Uh, I don't actually know why this was 27% and this one's only 24. Oh, I think it's because Guitarja is, these, this one's fascism. They're currently fascist. And Guitarja, I think, is um, uh, communism. And then we got Hojo down here. He's also fascist. So again, 2099. Uh, we got Gandhi down here. Again, also fascist, 29. And then we also got Cleopatra here. Hers is showing 4,170. Well, that's great. Hers is also fascism. So she's got a 24% reduction, but she's got a plus 75% for having a trade route. Okay, I knew trade routes made a difference. I didn't honestly know where it fit within the ma in the math and how it kind of worked out. Well, there you go. It, it's, it's giving us a pretty significant boost. Open borders also make a difference. So, okay, that's fine. You know, I, if I'd looked at that, I would have been like, okay, I'm getting a little bit of bonus to Cleopatra. So what? I'm already well past where, where she's at. Is Surely it's not really helping me, right? I don't think that's completely accurate. I think... And maybe I'm wrong. I'm kind of guessing a little bit here based on the information I read um, and, and, you know, a little bit of things uh, and plus a, a few other things here I'm going to talk about. But um, if I'm understanding this correctly, this tourism here is the addition of all of these combined. So what that tells me, again, I could be wrong, but based on the research, what that tells me is that even gaining more tourists with these guys is still just as valuable as gaining it with gaining it with Genghis Khan. I thought I only needed to gain stuff with Genghis Khan specifically, um, but no, I think I need to gain it with everybody that I possibly can. So what that means is trade with everybody, uh, open borders with everybody, and things of that nature should help me out and get me higher. Now, why did my tourism drop recently? Well, because I took out Arabia. Um, by taking out Arabia, I lost all the tourists I had gained with him. And then therefore my total dropped. I still think it was probably the right choice to take out him and then previously uh, Greece because they were just making my total I needed even larger. So I think in a weird way it might balance out. Plus I get all of his his uh, his tourist type stuff and things like that. So I think it was still the right move. But I, I honestly wasn't thinking about that to be honest. I mean if I'm sure other people maybe – like I said, I'm recording a lot of these in, in a row, trying to get these out before Gathering Storm. So if you guys have been yelling at me in the comments about how I'm making a complete fool of myself with how I'm trying to win a tourist victory, I accept it. I'm sorry. I truly apologize. I think I'm on the right track now. But again, this probably explains why I've never won a tourist victory because I just never really understood it. And it's not – to my to be fair, I mean, in my defense, I, I don't think it's really that clear, <laughs> I'll be honest. So what are we going to do? First things first. Do we go fascist? And that would reduce this 24% reduction we got with a, with four of these guys. And I thought about it and I was looking at it and I don't think we do. First, one reason is that fascism will throw us into three turns of anarchy. Anarchy. I, I don't know that I can afford three turns of anarchy. And the other reason is we would lose a lot of the slots that we're currently filling up with 
tourism based things. So, I mean, I could put them in the wild cards, lots of things like that. So it's technically still a way, but I think the 24% gain I would get, I would end up losing, you know, similar amount from just not getting those tourism boosts and other things. So I don't think I'm going to switch to fascism just yet. I, I might as a last resort if this, some of the other things I want to do don't work out, but I think, I don't think that's going to work out for me. So what else would I do? You know what? First things first. I think I'm going to try to get open borders with Genghis Khan and, and anybody I can, to be perfectly honest. So I don't know that there's many people that will, but we're going to try. So we're going to say open borders. I want to give you uh, – actually, I think you already took open borders from me because I just didn't really care at the time. So I'm going to say what would it take to get open borders from you? 33 gold per turn. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. What if I gave you some stuff? Um, give you some truffles. Okay, so you take two resources – for open borders. Let's start with that. I think that's a good start. And we're going to go see how that affects us. All right, let's come back over here. Victories. Genghis Khan. Okay. That basically cancels out the government problem. That's the first start. Step two would be, obviously, get a trade route to him. So as far as trade routes are concerned, I think we're still going to stay at war with um, Indonesia. Now, I don't think I'm going to completely take her out. I think I'm going to stay at war with her long enough to take these couple of cities over here that have spaceports and then I may leave the rest of it alone because I want her to stay in there and keep her tourist pool uh, in my favor. So leaving her with like a single city I think will be to my benefit. Um, but I, I do want to knock out her uh, her spaceports because I just obviously don't want her to snipe a space victory from me. Um, but whether she's at war with us or, or anything else, just in case it makes a difference and it helps us out in the long run. And by the way, I was just noticing as I was talking, where did it go? I just saw something. Where did it go, George? Um, I just saw a ship thingy. Where did it go? It was like I was like sitting there talking, moving my eyes across the screen. There it is. There's a shipwreck. Very cool. Um, anyway, sorry, got sidetracked. I'm like, I know I saw a shipwreck. There's a there's a relic. Oh, and there's another one over here. There's another one over there. Yay, more relics that we can go pick up. So we'll go get those in a moment. Um, but yeah, trade routes. So in, in in order to get the trade routes that we want the way we want them. Uh, there's a couple things I want to do. First off, I do think I want to assign Amani to um, Lisbon to see if we can get the uh, get this protection for our trade routes being plundered on ocean tiles. I think that'll help me out if I'm going to stay at war with just a little bit longer uh, or if I get at war with anybody else just to make sure that that's not going to be a problem. So we're going to go over here to Great Governors and we're going to reassign Amani to at the very, very bottom, I'm sure. Lisbon. Okay, so that's step two. Step three, we still have the belief thing where uh, cities with governors receive plus 50% tourism for world wonders and national parks. So we're going to go find the places that have the best world wonders and national parks and make sure that we have um, governors there. So obviously this city up here needs a governor, so we're going to send a governor up that way. I don't think it really matters. Um, let me see. Are any of these not currently covering somebody with a, with a good wonder or anything? Aleppo. Aleppo, Aleppo, Aleppo. Where is Aleppo? It's over here, right? Yes. You have a single wonder. So I don't think this is really going to be helping me out that much with him being there. So I actually think, because I think the National Park gives us a, a bit more tourism than, the, uh, than the, that single wonder. So we're going to move him over to here. I think that's going to be helpful. Reassign you to, what was the name of this city? Um, where did you go? There you are. We'll send you to there because I think that's going to help us out quite a bit. I mean, it's only, oh, it's actually 100% from National Park. So that's even better. Uh, okay. So next things, where's the cities with the most wonders? Now this one's got two. So I think the one in Pergamon, or is this Athens? This is Athens, isn't it? Um, Athens and... Athens. So those two are in Athens. So I think we'll leave uh, Magnus here to cover those two. I think that's very helpful. Um, the next city, obviously, um, our capital that we finally got back. It's got three wonders in it. So I think we need to send one here. Um, this one doesn't need a governor right now because there are no wonders here. So we're going to move the one from there over to... Uh, where are you at? Yep, there you are. We're going to move you over to our old capital, St. Petersburg. It's going to be at the bottom of the list because it technically is one of the last cities we took. 
St. Petersburg, right there. All right, we'll send you there. It's going to help us out with those wonders. Again, every little bit's going to help a, a, a bit, I think. Um, I do believe Medina. Is this? Are these both Medinas? Medina. Cairo. 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 Okay, so Cairo definitely needs one because you've got three. I don't think Halab needs one because it's only got one. Um, but Cairo for sure. So we're going to send um, a governor over to Cairo. You've only got one. So we're going to take the one. We're going to take Pingala and move him to Cairo. Now it may take him a while to get established. So we might not actually get the bonus for a couple turns. Or unless, I don't, I don't, I'm assuming it counts once they're established. I don't know if it'll count before that or not. Uh, who's Broadway belong to? Valletta. Valletta just has Broadway and Kotoku Inn. So you do have two. Is that the only two you have? Seems to be that way. Uh, this one over here is Damascus, who also has uh, that one and Oracle. So you've actually got three. So Damascus could use a governor, and I think we'll be able to take some good advantage of that. So where else do we have another governor flying around somewhere? Uh, Damietta. And Damietta doesn't have anything, so we're going to move you from there to Damascus. Reassigned Victor to Damascus. Really just trying to squeeze out every bit of tourism that we can get. Plus, now that I know a little bit more how the multipliers work, it makes me feel a bit better about sticking these guys in certain places to try and get those multipliers going. Oh, and look, more antiquity sites. So we definitely need to get some more um, arche archaeologists going around. All right, any other cities that have like an extra number of... I mean, Valletta would be good because of the two that it has. Um... If we've got one that's got only a singleton somewhere. So let's come up here, see where our other governors are. Relevant, um, Corinth. I don't think we were sending you to Corinth because we were going to do some stuff over here. Uh, oh, that's right. We're doing the, 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 uh, the park thing. We may leave you. We may actually start passing you around after all. Um, cause that actually might still be good for us. I feel like I'm missing a governor somewhere. Why am I feeling like. I haven't actually seen all of our governors. All right, let's check the list here. Corinth, Athens. We already talked about Athens. Lisbon, and we already moving these. Okay, no, everybody else is moving like we want to. Okay, no, we're good. So really the only one left would be um, Liang. And like I said, I, I need to just start getting some more of these um, seaside resorts and parks and things like that that we can. So that is going to be a focus as well. All right. And other things, let's go to Hojo. See if we can get open borders with you. Open borders, uh, I think you've already gotten my open borders because I was trying to get to you for some money, so I didn't think it mattered. Uh, we're going to give you some amber. We're going to give you some cosmetics to take some truffles. Yes. I'm okay with making you a little bit happier to get the open borders thing going with you. I have a feeling none of these other people are going to give me open borders at all, uh, but we're going to try. Make a deal. No, you just won't even give them to me. You just won't even talk to me. Um, guessing the same thing with you. Yeah, fair enough. I don't, can't say that I really blame you, to be perfectly honest. Could I demand? Actually, I hadn't thought about that. No, apparently not. All righty. Well, there's that. Uh, we can't get trade routes to you guys here momentarily, though. So that is going to be a goal. All right. So now what we're looking at is... All right, 631. We've, we've closed up a couple of the multipliers. Not everything. Again, we're going to wait for some trade routes as well. We've moved some things around. So 631. We'll see. We'll see where we're at next turn. Uh, you're going to repair that. Perfect. Just start getting every little bit of tourism that we can get. Because, again, it's going to multiply out pretty nicely. Uh, you want peace. Not quite ready for peace, my dear, because I need to take your last two spaceport cities to make sure you can't do anything with them towards the end of the game. Uh, that was my unit here. Okay, that's fair enough. Completely acceptable. All right, we still have some gold. Very nice. And... 
Oh, that's my helicopter that just died. 631. So where are we at now? So we gained nine. So that's a little bit of increase. I think we were only getting seven before. Oh, no, maybe we're still getting nine from before. Um, so maybe it's not not jumping in. You know, the multipliers aren't coming in as much as possible, as much as I would have liked. I mean, obviously, this is not a big multiplier, 24 to 25. Um, that's only canceling out a little bit, giving us 1% extra. Um, but I'm hoping as we get some more of these trade routes and things like that, we'll start seeing bigger multipliers and seeing this thing stacking up a little bit quicker. We'll, sh we'll see. Other than that, uh, let's double check space, the final frontier. All right, we're still so far so good for the moment. Still three and three, although they are, again, actively building them like as we speak. So we're trying to get our spies over there. Our spies are en route to three of the cities. I got one in Babylon already, so that's going to be helpful. All right, production. Again, focusing on things that are going to give us um, tourism. Well, I think the government plaza repairing that could be very useful. As could repairing our outer defenses, quite frankly, unless we just keep getting nuked. Start with that, just because I don't want this city to be completely vulnerable. Um, we will repair your... Obviously, the lava also gives us some tourism as well, I believe, from what I was seeing on the tourism screen. I mean, it still says we're getting it. So maybe we don't actually have to repair these to get the tourism, but we're going to keep repairing things as we can. Market completed. We'll go ahead and finish the stock exchange here. Stadium complete. Okay, that's in tourism right there. Um, we'll repair the zoo just because it's already mostly there. Stock exchange completed here. I think you've already got your neighborhood, if I remember correctly. Yes, you do. You don't have your entertainment complex, so you will need to grow before we can get to that. We'll put you on growth focus just to see if we get high enough to get us that going. Um, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and work on a trader. All right. Bank completed. Let's work on... Don't really need the, uh, actually we might need the housing here soon-ish. We're going to start with the monument. We may do the granary after that, and that may be it for now. Um, you're going to go ahead and finish ex repairing your stock exchange. Because obviously money is good. Actually, nope, that's not right. We are going to repair your outer defenses first. Okay, so your outer defenses are good. You're actually pretty good to go. You got the housing that you need. So I think at this point you can go straight into a trader. Or archaeologist, apparently. Do you have... You do have an archaeological museum. And we do know there's a few things out there. So you know what? Why not? Let's work on an archaeologist. All right. You are a builder. Let's go ahead and keep repairing things. Same with you. Uh, bombers. So... I guess we're going to start trying to work on something the old-fashioned way. I mean, you're already getting protection from fighters there, so that's not going to help us. Um, and you're too far away from anything else. Let's actually transfer you over here to this forward airfield. Could transfer you up here, which might be fine, but I think this will be fine. All right, Mr. Builder. Uh, looks like that's destroyed at the moment. There's a jet bomber. Can you reach over here? So, I was going to say, you're going to get intercepted by the jet fighter if I go there. All right, we'll go ahead and go here and start just working on it a little bit. I mean, we'll definitely have to work on that one as well. We may actually get our U to come over here. One, two, three, four, five. You would actually be able to reach Palembang from Hattusa. So, we're going to start moving you that direction. Uh, you're going to repair the road. Trade route. Okay. This is one of our first trade routes that we've gotten since I realized my silliness. Um, we need to get a trade route. We got a trade route to Egypt. So we need to get a trade route to pretty much anybody, but we'll go to here. It's a little bit of a risk at the moment because of all the stuff that's in the middle of the water, but that's where hopefully getting the um, Lisbon here soon-ish will, will help. Uh, you can go to Japan at this point because that'll get us to that one. And that's a start. All right, you're going to go, I guess, on alert. 
There's our spy. You actually have a promotion available. First thing was disrupt rocketry, which we are definitely going to need. Uh, I guess we'll go fast siphon funds. And then we'll have to move you next turn. All right, here's some bombers. Keep working our way up to there. Little by little. All right, Mr. Spy, I'm disrupting rocketry. Alrighty, uh, next turn. Uh, modern armor. Um, just chill for a second. Once you get a little bit more movement, I'll move you up somewhere else. Also, what was what was our number again? I'm going to try and keep seeing it if this changes much. 640 currently. So we'll see if that changes much. If it's not much more than 649, then we'll know I'm wrong. So <laughs> I guess that's that. Oh, you did launch another nuke. Where are you going? Over here again? No. Anyway, let's check real quick. Um, oh, yeah, okay. I was like, 649, it only went up by two. No, that 649 was our target. If it uh, was only going to go by nine points, it actually went up by 11 points. Small improvement. I mean, it, it made a difference. Open borders. Um, and the trade route seems to make uh, some difference. Now, the other number I need to look at next time is to see if it is only the ones going to Genghis Khan or if we're getting any gain on these other guys. Because honestly, I wasn't paying attention to see if we were or not. So we'll look at that next time as well, just to see, again, it's a very confusing system to see how it all works out. All right, you're going to go ahead and throw an attack there. You're going to help out. Not quite kill it, unfortunately. Library completed. Um... Don't really need the science. Don't really need a lot of any of this stuff. We'll go ahead and repair the lava. Just because. Maybe it makes a difference. I don't know. <laughs> I need something to spend my faith on, actually. Naturalists, uh, I don't think, will matter. Uh, we're going to go ahead and repair the museum. Stadium completed. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get the broadcast center out. Because, you know, you never know. We might be able to fill it with something um do you already have you already have a neighborhood and you already have an entertainment complex okay so we'll do that uh trader completed perfect uh of course this trader will can't go by sea because of some obvious reasons um you have your neighborhood you have your water park so neither one of those will help you right the second theater square could help i think i'm gonna start working on another missile cruiser so if that comes out, we can group it with you and start making you turn you into an armada. Nuclear device. So there's another nuke. Actually, we've got a couple nukes now. So that's a that's a positive. You have your neighborhood. You have your entertainment complex. You can do the lava. I think the only reason that was giving us stuff is because of the, um, the great works inside of it. You know what? I'm actually going to do another neighborhood, I think. Because I'm kind of curious to see if... It will uh, give us another option to make another thing. There's a lot of food here. Really no choices. Here. Um, can we steal one of these? Because obviously those are kind of dead tiles anyway. It's a terrible, terrible pill, but we'll see. All right. You got your nuclear device. Did you already get your neighborhood? Yes. And you already got your... Okay, so that can only be built once in a city. So no, that, that part we, we, we had already... We could read that right there. So never mind. So that other neighborhood's not going to help us out that much. That's okay. In fact, I'll probably go cancel it. Uh, you've already got your... No, you don't have an entertainment complex. Perfect. We can do that. So you do not need to make the neighborhood. After all. Um, I don't really need any of this other stuff either, to be perfectly honest. So, you know what? Let's just keep making some nukes, just in case we need them. Trader completed here. Um, do I have an artist down here somewhere hanging out? I thought I had a spare artist hanging out somewhere. There's actually one there. So let's actually get an art museum out. Um, trader completed. Let's check out your stuff. 
you have none of the uh, the, the good stuff. So a neighborhood or entertainment center, either one would work. Your housing is actually a little bit capped, so we'll start with the neighborhood. Actually, no, I'm not going to stick you there because that looks like it could be a good place for a seaside resort. In fact, we're going to go ahead and pop a builder out. You know, we're going to pop a builder out over here. And we'll start moving it around. See where we can stick seaside resorts. All right, you repair. Just for the sake of the gold, we're going to repair that. That's fine. Stock exchange completed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and repair the granary. Just Well, I don't think we really need it, actually, after all. I'm going to go ahead and get you to do a builder as well. Just, we'll go ahead and build a builder there just to see where else we might be able to stick some uh, seaside resorts and things. Speaking of builders, you actually have five charges available. Um, come down here and hook that up. You, I guess, can fix that road real quick. You fix that. You can come over here. Repair that. Eat food. That's a lot of food. Uh, modern armor. You're going to make your way over to here to be ready to advance somewhere. Jet bomber. I guess we'll keep attacking here. All right, just go ahead and repair that up. Do you have the nuke available, but we don't have a unit they can swing into Palembang yet. So, once this tank gets over here, we may look into that. All right, Mr. Spy, you need to move on to somewhere else. Where do we currently have spies going? Babylon, Korakorum. So those are those two. Babylon, Korakorum, and the other one was Yokohama, right? Yes, right there. Yep. Okay, so you're going to go to Yokohama. Yokohama, right there. Uh, is it too little too late? Not yet, but it's every turn, it's getting a little scary. All right, trader. Um, who do we not have trade routes with? I don't think we have a trade route with India yet. So let's get one to India. It's actually a pretty close trade route. So that gets us. Um, culture, you have a trade route. You have a trade route. You're good. And you're good. Well, once we piece you out, we'll be able to do a trade route to you. And speaking of trade routes, um, I guess this one can be internal for now. Where would we like to send it? Which looks like a place that could really use a little bit more stuff. Uh, this shopping mall over here could use a little bit of help. You're a trader as well. We're going to send you up to there. Spies for a product. Ooh, 84%. Do I have time to gain sources first? You're not. It does not look like you're building anything right now. So we'll start with gaining sources. Hopefully we have time for that. Um, You, I don't think we do have time to gain sources, to be perfectly honest. We also don't have time to fail. We got to go for it. It's a big risk, but we got to go for it. All right, so there's that, and yep, yeah, next turn. Oh, did she? Oh, we can't see it anymore. I was like, did she repair it? But no, it's just because it's, it's not visible anymore. Uh, no, we're not going to take your demands, my dear. I am so sorry. Although that might actually make you a little bit happier with me, but I doubt it would be enough. Okay, um, hello.
Thank you for coming within range of me. Building pillage? Of course it is. Governor established in Damascus. Oh yeah, that was a quick one. 2720. Alright. Uh, you have a promotion. We'll, we'll go ahead and take that. Why not? Neighborhood completed. Straight to the shopping mall. Um, outer defenses repaired. We'll just repair some of these other things. All the things. Um, lava completed. I don't know if it really matters what order we do these in. Or if it even matters if we do. I can't, I don't know that it matters here. Um, yeah, I can't imagine it actually matters because I think we're still getting the tourism anyway. Uh, let's check out Moscow. Moscow, do you have any great works in your... You do have a great work in your temple. You know what? We're going to go and repair it up just in case it makes a difference. We could move the great work, but honestly, take two turns to repair it. Not a big deal. Nuclear weapon is done. We're up to four now. It's quite a few to throw around. Um, do you have, you have the neighborhood, you have the entertainment complex, so we're good on both accounts there. So honestly, probably keep working on nukes for now. Why not? Shopping mall completed. Very nice. More tourism. I like it. We're going to be over 3,000 tourism. Not too long. Um, do you need a neighborhood? You already just got a neighborhood, so you need an entertainment something or another. Probably just a straight up entertainment complex is fine. Helicopter completed. Okay, well that's somewhat helpful. Um, you do not have a neighborhood. Let's work on a neighborhood for you. You built us a nuke. You also do not have a neighborhood. So we'll get you a neighborhood as well. We're not going to put one there because, again, it could be a seaside resort. This one would not be. Um, commercial hub. Sure, we'll repair that stuff up. Commercial hub. I don't know, more gold, more, more, more better. Um, you also don't have a neighborhood at the moment, which I guess is a little bit more critical. Ah, oh, you do have two seaside resorts, which is awesome. Uh, this is a little bit lesser, but on the appeal, but I think it'll be fine. It seems to give us four no matter what the appeal is, so I'm okay with that. So that's still not decontaminated. So we gotta wait a little bit longer for that. Um, I guess repair the road for now. Mr. Tank, get over here to Hattusa. Actually, you can get, according to this, you can get here in one turn. I don't know how true that is, but it says it's true. I'm going to go over there. I want to kind of get you close. Inch by inch, just to see if there's like something blocking us. No, still says we can get there. Okay, well then we can go ahead and drop a nuke. If oh, did I just do that without checking to see if we have a bomber? No, we do. We're good. Um, let's grab one of the guys that doesn't have a promotion. You, Mr. Bomber, L W M D, right there. Oh, I forgot about the um, the fire. Oops. Um. Now, does the fighter just stick around long enough to do stuff? That's 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 why I was going to take this one down with my my rocket. I forgot about that. Is it at all possible that you could? Looks like it'll still stop me, according to this. I'm gonna try anyway because it's not gonna kill me. Nah, it still interrupts it. I mean, he's taking some damage, but not enough to really matter. Gotta get you out of here. I mean, you're gonna. Be kind of a sitting duck, unfortunately. Um, but it is what it is. That's I was like, I know there's a reason why I'm not going up there. Forgot what it was. 
don't know, how about you come over here and hook that up? Can't go wrong with a little bit more gold. Although I do need to do... That's, what, that's right, I was trying to look for seaside resorts. Let's get this helicopter coming to the front line in case I lose that tank, especially. Um, you're going to go ahead and take your promotion. Sure, whatever. A little more range could come in handy at some point. Trade route. Um, don't know that it really matters because we've got all the other things covered at the moment. So we'll probably keep you internal. Let's see. Right there. It's right close by. A little bit of production. It's going to help out a bit. Same thing for you. We're going to send you to maybe La Venta. La Venta. Which apparently is not. Oh, I guess it's not an option. I think we've already got that one. Uh, Athens, maybe? Athens. Oh, no, there's La Venta. I was just not seeing it in the list. All right, we got you because we're going to see if there's any spots for seaside resorts. Could do the fisheries, but I don't, I think we already got all these seaside resorts here. So actually what we need to do is move her somewhere else. Uh, one thing we will do is come down here because I'm pretty sure there will be some seaside resort spots down here. And if not, we could probably force the issue with the park. And in fact, let's move Liang down there to see if we can maybe set up a park. If, it, if necessary to get, you know, across the line. Tula. Okay. Um, you, I guess you can still, cannot still fire on that guy. It's because you can't see him. I guess not. I guess it was still showing me where it was, but it wasn't actually let me count as seeing him. And we'll just move you back inside. That works, I guess. Um, you are going to be disrupting rocketry. Oh, you have to get gain sources because 63% is way too low. All right, before we hit next turn, actually, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. Uh, when we come back, we will check to see how much tourism we gain with everybody. Anyway, I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.